Hello guys, we're back in another video of benchmarking video. This time we're benchmarking control with a 3060 Ti at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K resolutions as always. Testing DLSS and ray tracing, but we are going to disable ray tracing for now. And the settings will be high settings, which is maximum in this game, with no motion blur. Let's get started. A native 1080p with no DLSS and no ray tracing. And right off the rip, we are getting 110 FPS, which is a great performance considering this game is extremely performance intensive. Now let's start counting the FPS. Of course, we don't have ray trace reflections in this title or anything like that, but yeah, this is a very good looking title and it's stuttering a lot, probably because I actually don't know why, but getting very solid FPS at 1080p native resolution. Here, around 120s, 110s. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, I found a file on the old director. Pretty solid performance, I would say. Definitely very good performance from a. Alright then, that's all for native 1080p. Not a lot, but 113 FPS on average. Yeah, really solid. Now let's test NVIDIA DLSS at the highest quality with no ray tracing still. So this DLSS quality and ev everything else maxed out. And wow, we are getting 180s. And the game doesn't look worse. So DLSS is a really excellent implementation this title. Wow, 160s and the game is moving out. So the OSS has seemingly removed those weird stutters, which is good. This game has a problem with texture filtering, by the way, texture loading. It has nothing to do with VRAM because VRAM isn't maxed out. Yet the, you see the textures take a second to load. Yeah, it has nothing to do with VRAM, as VRAM is only at 6.5 gigabytes. Hello. Yeah, so this is very solid. Okay, that was a stutter, but yeah, it's really... Really solid performance. Yeah, so 164 FPS on average, really nice. Now let's turn on ray tracing on a high quality, which maxes out, which it turns on all the options. So let's go. And yeah, our frame rate is noticeably lower, but the impressive thing is that with 1080p ray tracing and DLSS, we are getting the same FPS as native. Which is extremely impressive, considering the graphics are so much better because, you know, we have ray tracing. You can see yourself in the mirror when you couldn't before. The ground, also the ray traced effects on the ground like, look better. Like, as you can see, the ground reflections and this scene especially. Wow, the reflections look really, really damn nice. And we're still, this is still a 1080p higher pressure experience. So the 3060 Ti is really, really doing well in this title so far. Okay then, that's all for 1080p. Let's go to the 1440p resolution with, okay. So still at 1440p with, let's wait, let's shut off the DLSS and let's go ray tracing on off. Okay, let's go. Same settings. And wow. No way, I think I'm using DLSS. 
Oh wait, yeah, no, it's rendering the game at 440p. Or at 1080p, that's why. Yeah, now we're actually rendering the game at 440p and we're getting around 70s, which is still very good. Considering that, you know, this is a very nice looking game. Like the game in general is highly detailed. Looks very nice, has great particle effects great lighting good textures you know if they actually load in which for some reason is an issue with this game very annoying but even at 1440p still excellent performance from the gpu and we haven't even turned on dlss yet which of course will give us way better results Right then, let's go to this area. See if FPS drop a lot. And no, they don't. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that seemingly dropped our FPS by the way a lot, so let's start. How does combat? <coughs> Affect our FPS. Sorry about that. Nope. <coughs> I don't know what the heck's going on. So FPS does lower a little bit in combat. But still. Eighties here, yeah, because there's obviously nothing much to render. But in combat, not much lower FPS. Yeah, the FPS don't drop into the to the sixties, but that's still obviously very playable. Now we'll turn on DLSS on the highest quality mode, and let's see the performance. And wow, we are getting a hundred and ten, a hundred and twenty frames per second, hundred thirty at. This is a higher pressure experience in combat. Dropping into the hundreds, yeah, this is, yeah, very bad. Looks like my bullets aren't doing real harm to them. Nice, okay, we killed them all. That's very nice. Okay, we killed all the hiss. The hiss. Okay, yeah, 100... 15 FPS. This is an amazing experience. This game, for some reason, has issue with stuttering and textures. Yeah, it's still kind of buggy, which is disappointing to see because this game looks amazing and the story's amazing and the gameplay is good as well. I fully finished this game. It's an awesome game. Suggest you try it. But wow, this is very good performance. This is a 1440p high refresh rate experience. Of course, you don't have ray tracing, but you can't have everything, you know? So speaking of ray tracing, let's turn on some ray tracing and see if it still manages above 60 FPS. And yeah, it's still above 60 FPS and 70s even. Wow. So you have a 1440p 60 hertz monitor or 75 hertz monitor. Yeah, this game should be very, very nice to run on a 3060 Ti. Should have absolutely no problems running it. Which is amazing from this level of GPU. I mean, it's a. I mean, it's basically a 440p best gamer. But, you know. I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. This is practically the same performance as like something like a 2080 Ti, which is amazing. And as you can see in the blood, you have the reflections and the reflect. Yeah, it just looks. It just looks awesome. It runs awesome. Yeah, nothing really else I can say. And that's because of DLSS. If we didn't have DLSS, yeah, this game would be a nightmare to run with ray tracing enabled. Probably would have to play a 1080p to get this game running with ray tracing. But thanks to DLSS, this game is extremely good. And look at that. Damn, that's insanely detailed. Look at those reflections. If I look into the reflections, it actually does drop into the 60s, but you're not going to be doing this very often. 
wow, yeah, that looks insanely detailed. That looks so mad. That looks so good. Okay, let's go to 4K now. Let's shut off the DLSS. 3840 by 2160. Let's go. 3840 by 2160 with still same settings and ray tracing on off. And let's see how the game runs. Oh no. Wait, did I turn off ray tracing or what the heck's going on? My report is almost ready. Whoa. Um. Okay, no, no, it was just loading. Ooh, 20s? What the heck is happening? Like, why? Is it actually doing that? Yeah, 3840 by 2160. High settings. Ray tracing off. So ray tracing is not enabled. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was just loading. Like, ah, this is so bad. I, I expected better. Like, at 440p, it was getting 70. So at 4K, I thought it would get 30s, 40s. Yeah, but 20s? Like, in some areas, it gets up to... Yeah, this is completely and utterly unplayable. Do not play native 4K. Let's turn on the DLSS at the quality mode 1440p save if the situation improves. And it does. By quite a lot. And they're already getting 50s. This is very, very playable. 60s even at times. Wow, that's very impressive. At 4K. This is Lynn Salvador, head of your resolution, but the textures look like absolute crap for some reason. Like, this is the thing, textures are not loading at 4K. You would assume it's because of VRAM, right? But no, VRAM is only at 6.8 gigabytes, so it could use more VRAM. But it just doesn't want to. Okay, now we're actually getting 60s. Yeah, this is great. I think it was just rendering. Here, drops into the 50s. It's still very, very good. Like, dropping into the 50s. Yeah, this is a great experience at the 4K resolution. Let's go back. Let's go back to that area with um, uh, the hiss and see if it drops. So, basically, do not play with DLSS off at 4K. If you don't want ray tracing, yeah, this is a solid experience. Yeah, this is very damn solid. If I shoot, doesn't drop from 60. Even if it does drop from 60, this game is a single player title. I need 60 plus FPS all of- oh shit. Explosions, effects. Not dropping! Wow! Chill! So how about if we turn on ray tracing? Ray tracing on high, quality DLSS, let's go. And this is a 30 FPS experience now. This is still playable, but not exactly great. I mean, I wouldn't want to play the game. Oh, shit. No, and I'm done. <sighs> okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, this is not exactly a great experience, considering it drops into the 30s. Might even drop from 20. I mean, from 30. Yeah, it's in f it's in the 40s here. So that area was clearly more intensive. Yeah, it's about as intensive as looking in a reflection here around 30. So yeah, perfectly playable. Let's go back to that area now. Okay, now let's turn off the ray tracing. And 
turn on DLSS on the performance mode, aka 1080p. Let's go. And with 1080p, yeah. No, this is a 4K. High refresh rate experience. You see what I mean? Why are the textures not loading in? The VRAM is only 6.2 gigabytes. I don't like this game sometimes. Like, especially, like, the textures look like... Like, they look worse than the lowest possible settings. And it just refuses to render the textures at 4K. Despite the fact the VRAM is not even maxed out. Like, the VRAM is only at 6 gigabytes. So this is just... Why? Okay, it drops into the 80s here. Yeah, but still. It's... It's basically a 4K high refresh rate experience, which, I mean, assuming you turn down a few settings, you can still turn down a few settings, because I'm playing at high. You could obviously play a medium, and then you could get a 4K definite high refresh rate experience. Die. 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 Okay, nice. 90s, yeah. Nice. What the hell? Freaking hell. So yeah, dropping into the 80s. Might even drop into the 70s at times, but still. It's a very, very playable. Well, of course it's a very playable experience. It's literally above 60 FPS all of the time. Okay, this is very good. Very good experience. Now let's turn on the ray tracing. No, yeah. High ray tracing. Performance DLSS 4K. And it's around 60 frames. Do you want to play at 4K? This is the way to go, I think. It's not 60 plus, but you know, it's still an extremely playable experience. Okay, chill, what the hell? Might drop from 50 occasionally, but yeah, this is still... Reaches up to 60. If there's nothing really going on, you get 60s. But then obviously with explosions, it lowers into the 50s. Time to leave this cursed place. Yeah, a lot of tearing though. Main problem I have with this game is not even the performance. The performance is very reasonable. Like, the game still looks fantastic with these settings. With performance DLSS. And, well, obviously looks fantastic. Like, look at these damn reflections. And I can literally see myself in the mirror. This looks incredibly good. Problem! Is that for some reason... Okay, wow, that, that, that was an intensive part. Like, it dropped into the 40s there. Yeah, like, wow, looking at the thing. 30s, wow, that's extremely intensive. But other than that, yeah, just walking around, you can get 60 FPS. Yeah, it's around, like, 50, 60. It does drop into the 40s in more intensive areas. Like, here, it's getting mid-60s. It will drop from 60. This is not the perfect experience. If you want, like, a perfect 60 FPS experience, plus experience, you'll have to turn off ray tracing. So, but, and if you want to run a desetting 60 plus FPS all the time, you're going to need something like at least a 3070 Ti, maybe even a 3080. To run at 60 plus FPS all the time. Which... It's still perfectly reasonable, considering this is 4K resolution. Yeah, it's performance DLSS. Performance DLSS still looks great. Almost comparable to native resolution. It's not quite there, but it still looks exceptionally good. I want to look at reflections, 50s. Yeah, it's still, look, it's still a great experience. Th these are my personal settings, by the way. Like, 4K ray tracing with performance DLSS. And I'm very... 
I played the game through like this and I enjoyed myself and it was very, very playable, obviously. Played the entire game through with these exact settings I'm using right now. And yeah, I had a lot of fun. Even if it dropped into the 40s at times, you can still have a lot of fun with this game. Even with like 40 something FPS. So yeah, that's all guys. See you in the next video, benchmarking video, or yeah. Bye guys. Have a good one.